Lesson 14, working with pyramids. Let's use the pyramid volume formula to solve problems. That is volume equals one third base times height. Here is a pyramid. Which of these solids has the same volume as the pyramid? All right, so let's get the volume of this one first. So one third, your base right here is five times four, which equals 20. So one third, 20 times your height is six. So one third, 20 times six is 120. One third of that is 40. So volume equals 40 uh, cubic units. All right. So we got to figure out which of these solids has the same, has 40 for a volume. So the volume of this, this is a, a rectangular prism, is just length times width times height. So this one is uh, five times four times two, which is 20 times two. So this one's 40 cubic units. So A is the same. Let's look at B. <clears throat> you got a triangle for a base, and it's a pyramid. So this is known as a triangular pyramid. That's the formula for all pyramids. So this one is going to be uh, one third base times height. Now let's look at the base. The base is a triangle, a right triangle. So how do I find the area of this triangle? That's what base equals. The area of triangles is one half little b, little h. This is little b, this is little h. So one half six times four, or one half of 24, which equals 12. So the base here is 12. Then you got to apply that here. So volume equals one third base times height. So one third, our base is 12. Our height is 10. So it's one third, 12 times 10, which is 120. One third of 120 is 40 cubic units. Volume equals 40 cubic units. This one is the same also. Because we're comparing it to this and they asked which has the same volume. So A and B are both 40. So you're gonna say A and B are both the same as the uh, original pyramid. <clears throat> All right, four minutes, no big deal. Practice with pyramids. Calculate the volume of each solid. Round your answers to the nearest tenth. Okie doke. In all of these, there's an apex. Okay. So apex. 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 This is your hint. If there's an apex, up top, you all come to a point, then your volume formula is uh, one third base times height, or volume equals base height divided by three. So they're all this. So let's chip away at it. 
uh, this one, just rewrite it, one third base times height. So one third, what's our base? Well, it's a two by two, so that's four. So base equals four. And then your height is six. So it's one third of 24. And that'll be eight feet to the third power. This one, volume equals, let's try this one, B H over three. Base is a circle. So a base is pi r squared. So pi, what's our radius? It's two squared. So four pi equals your base. Height is 4.2. So volume equals BH 4 pi times 4.2 divided by 3. Round your answers to the nearest tenth. So you get this trusty calculator, which almost never fails. 4 times pi times 4.2 divided by 3 17 and they it's 5 9 they want nearest tenth centimeters to the third power what's this called all right this one base height over 3 so remember uh, the base is a triangle, a right triangle, so it's just to your base, the area of the base is one half little b little h. So little b little h. So one half four times three. One half of twelve. Six is your base. Height is seven. So your volume formula right here, volume equals base height over three. That'll equal six times seven divided by three, 42 divided by three. That equals 14 km cubed. That's for this one. So this one's 14 km cubed. 17.6 centimeters cubed. This one is eight feet, cubic feet. Last but not least, base, they tell you is 32. Height is 12. So you're just gonna say volume equals base height over three. So 32 times 12 divided by three, which equals uh, 32. 12 is 384 divided by 3. So the volume equals 128 centimeters cubed. So this one's 128 cm to the third power. All right. <clears throat> A particular cone has radius r. and height h. Write an expression for the volume of this cone in terms of r and h. Well, you could say v equals b h over three. However, they want it in terms of r and h. So you're just gonna change this. Base is a circle. So you're gonna say V equals base pi r squared times height divided by three. What is the height of a cone whose volume is 16 pi and whose radius is three? You're gonna use this. So volume is 16 pi, that's V. 
So you're going to say 16 pi equals pi times 3 squared times height divided by 3. You can just multiply that by 3. That'll get rid of this. So you're going to say 48 pi equals 3 squared is 9. 9 pi times your height. Divide both by 9 pi. Divide by 9 pi. H equals 48 divided by 9. Let's take a 3 out. 16 thirds. That's your height. Or in other words, 5.333333. What is the radius of a cone whose volume is 16 pi and whose height is 3? So, just use this again. So, volume is 16 pi. Height is 3. Rewrite your formula. Pi r squared times height over 3. And just start plugging things in. So 16 pi equals pi r squared times 3 divided by 3. Got a 3 and a 3. Cross them out. So 16 pi equals pi r squared. Let's divide both by pi. Oh, wait, these cancel, so will these. You're left with r squared equals 16. Take the square root of both sides, you're going to get r equals 4. All right. 14.2, practice with pyramids. Okay, an icy pyramid. All right, here we go. Caterer is making an ice sculpture in the shape of a pyramid. Okay. So I'm going to start by drawing a pyramid. Start with that shape, like a parallelogram. Draw an apex. Connect each point, each vertex to your apex. All right, we got ourselves a pyramid. This is an ice sculpture. Okay. The caterer wants to use 12 liters of water. So 12 liters equals uh, 720 inches cubed. That, right away, you should know is volume. So volume so this puppy is 720 and it's in uh, inches. The sculpture must be 15 inches tall. So this sculpture has to be um, 15, okay? The caterer needs to decide how large to make the base. So caterer's gotta figure out the dimensions of this base right here. The game is to figure out this base. Okay. And that can be any shape. All right, cool. Draw and label the dimensions of two different bases that would work. All right. <clears throat> well, you know that the pyramid volume formula is just base height over three. And you know the volume is 720. So why don't we just swap this in for that. So you're going to say 720 equals base height over 3. Um, 3 times 720 is 2160 equals base times height. Now let's figure out what we know. Well, we know that the height has to be 15. So 2160 equals base times 15. Divide both by 15. 
these cancel out. Your base will equal 2160 divided by 15, which equals 144. So if my base equals 144, let's knock one of them out right now. How about 12 and 12? And then let's do another one. It could be any shape, remember? How about 72 and 2? With the height of 15. That would work. Because your base would be 144. So the key is to break 144 into a set of factors. So I went 12 and 12. And 72 and 2. All right, ice pyramid's done. And lesson 14 is done. So, the key one is we can work backward from a given volume to find possible dimensions for a cone or a pyramid. Sweet.